It's showtime. From the Sony Picture <gasps> Studios, this is Jeopardy. Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to another game of Jeopardy, everybody. Thank you, Alex, and hello, folks. This is game 79 of my run of Jeopardy 2003 for the PC. My total is 3,679,400. Hot Wheels, our feathered friends. Let's get musical. Official state things. And let's take a look at our last category. World history. <clears throat> Player one, you start us off. F for 200. This three-letter name of an illness sounds like part of a chimney. Player one. What is fur? Oh, that's it. No. That I it? thought Come I would on. know this one. Here's what we were looking the for. The flu. Oh, of course. Let's try it again. F for 400. A chambermaid does it to your pillow. Forgetful actors do it to their lines. Player one. What is fluff? Yes. <clears throat> F600. It precedes Dutchman, fish, and saucer. Player one. What is flying? Exactly. F800. One may be electric or alluvial. That's cool. Player one. What is a fan? Yes. F a thousand. This famous shrink was the father of psychoanalysis. Player one. Who is Freud? Precisely. Pick again. Hot Wheels 200. In 1964, this British movie spy was driving an Aston Martin DB5. In 1995, a BMW Z3. Player three. Who is James Bond? Yep. Hey, you're correct. Thought of it too late. Hot Wheels for 400? It promotes its wide track <clears throat> Grand Prix as wider is better. Player two. What is Pontiac? Hmm. Exactly. Oh. Let's get musical for 200. The Who earned an entry in this Guinness book with a 120 decibel concert performance. Player one. What is the Guinness Book of World Records? Hey, you're correct. Hot Wheels 600. Answer. Okay. The Daily Double. Make your wager, please. 1,200. North American country in which Toyota builds most of its Camrys. Player one. What is the United States? Precisely. Held back. Back again. But I still ex extend my lead. Hot Wheels 800. In the same class are the Ford Contour SVT, the Saab 900S, and this company's Jetta GLX. Player two? What is Honda? No, that's not, not Honda. Honda. Sorry. Anybody? It's on the tip of my tongue. What we were looking for. Volkswagen, was this. that's it. Uh, Hot Wheels 1000. The 1997 Boxster was the first new sports car from this 911 maker in 19 years. Player two? What is Porsche? Oh. Precisely. Pick again. Okay. World history for 200. Spartan leader Lysander defeated this rival Greek city and established the government of the 30 tyrants over it. Player one. What is Athens? Hey, you're correct. All right. Um, official state thinks 200. Not surprisingly, it's Nevada's state metal. 
Player one. What is silver? <clears throat> Precisely. Pick again. Official state thinks for 400. Its state sport is mushing. Player one. What is Alaska? Yes. Official state thinks 600. This blue-green stone is the state gem of Arizona and New Mexico. Player one. What is the emerald? No. No. I was going to say aquamarine, but I think I might have been right the first time. This no, it was turquoise. Question. Official state thinks 800. Florida's official one of these insects is the zebra longwing. Player one. What is a butterfly? Definitely. <clears throat> official state thinks 1,000. While the peach is Georgia's state fruit, this is Georgia's state crop. Player one. What is the peanut? Precisely. Pick again. Let's get musical, 400. The RIAA certifies a record that has sold 500,000 or more copies as gold, and one million or more as this. Player one. What is platinum? Hey, you're correct. Let's go musical 600. During his long career, he had only two number one hits, Traveling Man and Poor Little Fool. Player two? Who was Ricky Nelson? Hmm. Precisely. Pick again. Give me our feathered friends for 200. <clears throat> they can be golden, sea, or bald. Player one. What are eagles? Definitely. Our feather friends, 400. This flightless bird of Australia may weigh up to 120 pounds. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What's an emu? Yep. Precisely. Pick again. Our feather friends, 600. <clears throat> the largest free-flying flock of this wading bird in the U.S is kept at Hialeah Racetrack in Florida. Oh. Player three. What is the flamingo? And I just thought of that, but it was too late. That's the critter we're looking for. I'd like world history for 400. In 1996, Frank Gaudio found the ruins of this Egyptian queen's palace in the port of Alexandria. Player three. Who was Cleopatra? Mm. Precisely. <clears throat> Pick again. World history for 600. This U.S. president's middle name was Gamaliel. Player one. Who was Harding? Yes. Our feather friends 800. The mute species of this bird is not entirely mute. It makes a hoarse wheezing sound. Player two? What is the crane? Good guess. Not the crane. It's not what we're looking for. Player three. What is the swan? Mmm. Precisely. Pick again. Our feathered friends for 1,000. The Arctic species of this bird migrates further than any other, about 11,000 miles each way between the polar regions. Oh. Player three. What is the turn? Oh, that's not what yes. I was thinking. <clears throat> How about world history for 800? Coretta Scott met this future husband while at the New England Conservatory of Music. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Oh. Player one. Who was Martin Luther King? Exactly. World History 1000. Early Chinese scribes usually wrote on wood, bamboo, or this fabric. Player one. What is silk? Hey, you're correct. Let's go musical 800. Steven Tyler is the lead singer for this group. Player one. Who are Aerosmith? 
Exactly. And the last one? Here's the final answer on this board. Like Picasso, this Polish prince went through a blue period with hits like Blue on Blue and Blue Velvet. Player one. Who is Bobby Vincent? Exactly. Strong first round for me, 11,200. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. Now we're going to take a quick look at the scores. Big lead, player one, well done. <clears throat> 11,200 for me, 3,000 for player three, 400 for player two. Things off first in double Jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for double Jeopardy. Here are the categories for the double Jeopardy round. Voting. Oh, I know this one. The small screen. <clears throat> what foods these morsels be? I think I remember that one. Libraries. More celebrity rhyme time. And our last category is the old farmer's almanac. <laughs> Let's go for the Old Farmer's Almanac. For 400. An old farmer's proverb says March winds and these bring forth May flowers. Player one. What are April showers? Definitely. Farmers eight. To cure these and a baby, <clears throat> the almanac advises don't yell boo, put two broom straws in its hair. Player one. What are hiccups? Precisely. Pick again. Farmer's Almanac 12. The Almanac's gardener's companion says it's the most popular garden vegetable. Or is it a fruit? Player one. What is a tomato? Hey, you're correct. Farmer's Almanac 1600. The Almanac puts out four editions. Three for the United States and one for this neighboring country. Player one. What is Canada? Exactly. Farmer's Almanac 2000. The first issue cost six pence and was published during this U.S. president's first term. Player three. Who was George Washington? Oh. Yes. Hmm. Boating with Noah. For 400. It's the biblical book in which Noah's story is told. Player one. What is Genesis? Exactly. Boarding with Noah, 800. This weather phenomenon was a sign to Noah from God that he would never flood the earth again. Player one. What is a rainbow? Yes. Noah, 1200. One of the three other men on the ark. Player one. Who is Ham? Exactly. Japh Shem and Japheth are the other two. Noah, 1600. The length of the rainstorm. Player one. What is 40 days and 40 nights? Hey, you're correct. Noah for 2000. And the ark rests no daily in double. the seventh month upon the mountains of this. Player one. What is Ararat? <coughs> Precisely. Pick again. More celebrity rides on 400. Jagger's pranks. Player one. What are mix? Um. Bix? No, that's no. not right. Sorry. Player two? What are mixed tricks? Oh, tricks, of course. Hey, you're correct. More celebrity rhyme time for 800. Mars medications. Player one. What are Bill's pills? Precisely. Pick again. More celebrity rhyme time, 1200. Carney's roll. Oh. What are arts parts? Yep. Yes. I like the small screen for 400. 
This pricey CBS game show aired its 5,000th episode on April 9th, 1998. Player one. What is the price is right? Precisely. Pick again. More celebrity Ryan signs 1600. Blythe's flags. Player two. <sighs> what are Danner's banners? Oh. Definitely. I'll try libraries for 400 a spokane library named for this white christmas singer has many of the crooners records and memorabilia player one who is bing crosby exactly more somebody right on 2000 carries embraces player one what are strugs hugs hey you're correct small screen 800 this 1977 miniseries, based on an Alex Haley book, won a record nine Emmys. Player one. What is Roots? Oh, Roots. Precisely. Pick again. Small screen, 1,200. Answer. Okay. The Daily Double. <laughs> Could you make your wager, please? <clears throat> 3,200. Archie Bunker's neighbors, they moved on up to the east side and got wacky neighbors of their own. Player one. Uh. Who are the Jeffersons? That's who we were. All right. That was a guess. Small screen, 16. This medical soap opera celebrated its 35th anniversary with an ABC primetime special. Player one. What is ER? No. Nope. I'm sorry. Anybody? Player three. What is General Hospital? Oh. Exactly. Let's try what foods these morsels be for 400. Put a feather in your cap if you know that fichetti is a type of this hollow Italian pasta. Player one. What is fettuccine? That is no. incorrect. Player three. What is macaroni? Oh. Hey, you're correct. What foods these morsels be for 800? In the South, hominy, when ground, is more popularly known as this. Player one. What are grits? Precisely. Pick again. What food's 1,200? Hummus is made with chickpeas, which are also known as these beans. Player one. What are garbanzos? Definitely. Food's 1,600. Answer. Oh. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? It's bad at all. Hop in for some deep-fried lapin at restaurants in Paris, and you'll learn it's this animal. Player one. What is a rabbit? Exactly. Doubled it. <laughs> Food's 2,000. Fry up some of these insects, and you can enjoy the Colombian treat, hormiga culona. Player one. What are ants? <clears throat> yes. Small screen, 2000. This X-Files star has hosted Showtime's Red Shoe Diaries. Player one. Who is David Duchovny? Exactly. Got it. Library, 2000. This Waco, Texas school's Armstrong Browning Library has items relating to poets Robert and Elizabeth. Player one. What is Baylor? Hey, you're correct. All right. 1600. Founded in 1701, this university's library is Connecticut's oldest. Player one. What is Yale? Precisely. 
Pick again. Library's 12. The Theodore M. Hesburg Library is located at this Indiana University. Player three. What is the University of Notre Dame? Oh. Uh, hey, you're correct. And the last one? And to wrap up this board. The Greater Amman Public Library is one of the major libraries in this Middle Eastern country. Player one. What is Jordan? Hey, you're correct. <clears throat> Got it. 65,200. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores once again. Player one, you've got the lead going. 65,200. 9,400 for player three. 2,400 for player two. It's time for final jeopardy. I'll read the category, then give you a few seconds to consider your wager. And it is. Inaugural, inaugural addresses. addresses. Go ahead. Make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. Well, let's see. Last time... Uh... Fourteen thousand four hundred. Here's the final Jeopardy We're not going to go too much. Good luck. Thank you. In his fourth inaugural address, he told us, Today we work and fight for total victory in war. Who was Franklin Roosevelt? I had to use a cluster site, but you know what? It's my channel. I can do what I want. Let's see how everyone did. Your question. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yes. 2400. Your question. Woodrow Wilson. Oh, we know that's sorry, wrong. That's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Ninety-four hundred. Your question. I said one. Franklin G. That's Roosevelt. It. Right. Well and done. And that's right. And your wager was fourteen thousand four hundred seventy-nine thousand six hundred. Congratulations to the big winner here today. <coughs> Player one. Good total for me. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Come back and see us again real soon, won't you? Bye, Alex. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. And, of course, in Let's total, look at your stats. an even $3,759,000. Seventy nine wins. <clears throat> so that I would say was a good game for me. <clears throat> Seventy nine thousand six hundred dollars made up for what happened last time when I said Ann Sullivan instead of Helen Keller. I guess you could say I had a choice between one or the other and I picked the wrong one, but this time didn't have to worry about that here. So Hope you guys enjoyed this three three million seven hundred fifty nine thousand dollars. Now I know I have my recap to do of Red Bud Motocross, which was today, and your winners today were Chance Hymas in the two fifties and Chase Sexton in the four fifties. So, <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll have my recap of that of both classes up. Not sure if I'll do two videos or one, but we'll see what happens. So, anyway, guys. Thanks for watching, and remember, subscribe, and I'll see you all for game number 80. See you all soon.